the neatest things I've ever seen. And the temperatures are perfect. I think he fell. Looks like we really are the only ones here. Ooh, mountaintop mint chip. This is really a pretty park. I was not always comfortable with dispersed camping, but after six years traveling in our little van, it has become like second nature. If you are a campground only traveler, I would encourage you to give it a try. A good place to start is by stopping at a U.S. Forest Service or BLM office and ask them where they would recommend you camp. We left our campsite early this morning where we could be sure to get down to Donner Lake and get a parking spot right on the lake where we're gonna spend the day. I'm gonna do my work and we'll go for a bike ride around the lake later. And also there's a ice cream store up the, up the road a bit that our son recommended. Two hours later. I'm pretty sure we can get all the way around Donner Lake. So let's give that a try. Got these little docks along here. Did you ever look to see whether they're public or not? I think they are. I'm gonna go read the sign. Yeah, it's, uh, they're free, but they ask for donations. Donner Lake is located in the town of Truckee. It's a natural lake with a moraine serving as a natural dam. The tracks of the Union Pacific Railroad run along Schallenberger Ridge, following closely the route of the original Transcontinental Railroad. This is really a pretty park, isn't it? The famous Lincoln Highway, the first automobile road across America, follows the northern shoreline before climbing to Donner Pass. But the area is probably best known for the ill-fated Donner Party, which suffered a harrowing winter in various groups near the lake. But we'll return to that later in the video. Oh, well, we'll find out. Open from one to eight, and these are the flavors. And I already see the one I'm gonna get. Ooh, mountaintop mint chip. Oh yeah, that's it. Double. Mint chocolate chip. On the bottom. Coffee, coffee, and chocolate brownie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, it was a seven mile ride, and the only way you can do it is to go through the state park down at the, is that the West End? The Donner West End? Memorial. Yeah, Donner Memorial State Park. You go through there. And you can hook up with the South Shore Road and come around. It's a nice ride. Yeah, it was good. It's also nice. They have 37 of these public, little public docks along the shore on this side. This is the north side. And uh, free to use, although they do request a donation. Well, before I fall asleep, we're going to uh, leave our lakeside spot and go down to the Ace Hardware because it is really cool. We had like two minutes there yesterday when John was getting a spare battery. And actually, I should tell you about our experience with the Mercedes key fob. Because it's something you should be aware of if you have something similar to ours. Now, we added an alarm system to this van after we bought it because they didn't have one. So maybe that's something to do with it. I don't know. But if the battery goes dead on your fob, then you got that little flip up key that you can use to open your door but you can't start your car with it at least we couldn't and luckily my fob still worked because uh, when John opened the door then the alarm goes off 
you can't start the car and you're kind of stuck. So if you didn't, you know, if we didn't have that, you have to get, then you'd have to go and find the batteries and the bat, what number were the batteries? Uh, CR Three. 2025. CR 2025. You need two of them. Carry a few in the glove box. Yeah. So carry extra batteries in your van so you can be prepared. So we're going to do that and then go to Safeway and then go to the laundry mat and then go find another dispersed camping spot. We found a spot off of a forest service road. Somebody's shooting a gun somewhere. And we do have two bars of Verizon. Okay, the plan for the day is to put our shoes on and then we're gonna go for a short bike ride up here. It's five miles to, through a meadow. Then we're going up to Jackson Meadows. And we're gonna find a first come, first serve camping spot because it's Sunday, there should be one. And uh, what else? And we'll have no cell service. As I learned after the fact, this is not an official U.S. Forest Service trail. Apparently, it was created by users. We were trying to avoid hikers by going counterclockwise, but the south side is not maintained, and the number of downed trees made it too challenging for us. Up there a little bit. Okay. Here we go. around. <clears throat> John wasn't enjoying it. <laughs> now I'm just waiting for John. I think he fell. He did. That's a hiking trail, not a mountain biking trail. Too many downed trees. It is a paved 17 miles from Highway 89 to the reservoir on U.S. Forest Service Road 7. Like old Route 40 through the Donner Pass, this area has lots of history for those with a four-wheel drive, high ground clearance, and perhaps a chainsaw. The historic Hennis Pass Road is nearby, and the U.S. Forest Service has a driving guide for a route that was preferred by those seeking gold and silver in California and Nevada between 1849 and 1868. I'll link to the downloadable guide and also a free ebook written by a retired California State Park Ranger called Over the Hennis Pass. The book is loaded with history, photos, and information. This place is empty. Hey, they have an overflow campground up here. See? see. I think there are six sites up here. Let's see, they've got that one. Number nine. Nine. There's another one. There's three along here. So there are three here. But there's, there's, there's one there. There's two more there. Two, four, five, six. So they have, they have uh, nine overflow sites. So we thought the place was full over the weekend, but we might have been able to grab a spot there. That doesn't make sense. No vehicles. How do you get your boat down there if you don't bring your vehicle? Uh, you know, this might make, this could make for a good sunrise. Not that I'm going to get up and do it. Yeah, this is pretty low. We don't usually buy firewood, but if somebody leaves it at the campsite, then we're going to use it. And while John chops wood, I'm going to make some pumpkin chocolate chip bread because it is the fall and you gotta have pumpkin let's see where did i get this one ah oh, i forgot where i bought this i 
tend to cook everything right around 400 degrees. But I reduce the amount of time and I always check it with a thermometer. But this thing always seems to be a much, much faster cooking than an oven. So I'll use this little instant read thermometer and when it gets to right around 195, 205, right in that area, then it's usually done. We'll let it cool 10 minutes, maybe seven. I thought I'd share just a little bit more information about this campground which is, I think we might be the only ones here except for the host. Uh, they don't have showers, but they do have uh, water. And there's a dump station across the, the, right across the road here, but they charge 20 bucks. So we're gonna squeeze out another day and there's a cheaper spot down in Truckee where we're, we'll dump for 10 bucks. Didn't do a whole lot today, but it was kind of nice just to relax. And I've always got lots of work to do. And uh, next week, we're gonna stay a couple more nights at the Army Corps campground. And also tomorrow, I think we're gonna stop at the museum down at the Donner Memorial State Park. There's a museum there that tells the whole story of the Donner Party. I read the book when I was in high school and really enjoyed it. So we'll see you tomorrow morning. Kinda neat having a campground to yourself. Absolutely nobody up here. It is 9 a.m. and we are going to jump on our bikes and go explore around this reservoir because there are a bunch of other campsites around here and kind of get a feeling for the area. They do have a plague up here. It's kind of endemic. So don't mess with the rodents. And when does this place close? Does it say? Nope. Looks like the host has gone home too. Looks like we really are the only ones here. So we're at Pass Creek Campground and we're gonna ride around, oh, it's called Jackson Mes Jackson Meadows Reservoir. And then there's a bunch over here. First bit of fall color. Well, you can see where they got the rock to build the dam. And here's the bottom of the, I guess that's the Yuba River. The dam was completed in 1965. 190 feet tall, 1500 feet long, holds 1.6 million cubic yards. Oh, there it is. It holds, it holds 69,000 acre feet. Three, there are 325,851 gallons in an acre foot. The 
reservoir and campgrounds are operated by the Nevada Irrigation District, and the Pacific Crest Trail meanders along the east side of the lake. Wow. Okay, we did eight miles. I'm gonna pack up and head back to Truckee and find a dump station. We wish the all the water fills were like this. You don't have to get your own hose out or anything. And it's ice cold water. Yes, ice cold. Creating defensible space around the road. That's what they're doing. Looks like you got a new parking pass. Yay, and that's different from the ones we get. Yes, thank you. Same price as the one we got. Yeah, it's 195 bucks. But at least, because there is a parking fee here, you have to pay 10 bucks. So what did she say? She said that works to park the museum, not a problem. The museum For is parking, free. oh, it is free. Oh, okay. They have lots of spaces tonight if you want to stay there. The seniors is 32 bucks. Let's do it. And they have, uh, yeah, you can go pick the spot. And they have uh, flush toilets and showers. No right? dump. Have tokens, no dump. Close, closest dump is Coachland RV Park. Wow. And I said, that sounds uh, extensive. <laughs> Got a campsite at Donner Memorial State Park. After Labor Day, it is first come, first served, but they don't have a dump station. So we're going to go get our site and then we're going to go. Yeah, they send you to a private RV park that's not too far away. And then we'll come back and uh, go to the museum. Okay, so the dump fee is 15. 15 bucks. <laughs> oh, jeez. We spent at least five bucks driving around yeah. looking for a dump station. So make a left. Okay. We're the slow children, make a right, and it's gonna be down there. I guess the parking fee is 10 bucks. Uh-huh. Yeah, back up just a smidge. Uh-huh. Here comes the caboose. Mishaps, missteps, and delays plagued the Donner Reed Party almost from the beginning of their journey west from Springfield, Illinois in 1846. Of the estimated 1,500 pioneers who ventured west that year, their group was nearly the last to depart. The decision to take the Hastings shortcut added nearly a month to their ordeal and caused them to arrive one day shy of getting over the Sierra Nevada mountains before one storm after another forced them to overwinter near Truckee Lake, now Donner Lake. Of the 87 who made it to Truckee Lake, only 48 made it out alive, 
with the help of three rescue parties. Of course, it was the cannibalism that made their story so memorable. California erected the monument in 1918 and the park was created in 1927. Nearby is a large rock that served as the back of the fireplace of one of the family groups. There are two other sites where families camp for the winter near the lake, and then the Donner family, which camped six miles away at Alder Creek due to injuries and a broken wagon axle. There is a riveting four-part podcast on the Donner Party that I will link in the description box. The Visitor Center also includes information about the construction of the railroad and the Chinese Exclusion Act, as well as the construction of the Lincoln Highway. It is definitely worth a visit. Man, there's just a ton of some more recipes in here. This is a beautiful state park. So what's the story? Morning glory. Um, 71 watts coming in and 270 going out. So the batteries charged to full. They were down like to four, but they were down below half. And uh, they charged to full in less than two hours with the solar panel out. And the battery itself is down to, uh, I think it was 77 percent so it's 1.4 miles for the whole length September is the perfect month up here. Oh, what a great little walk. What a great little park. It's just perfect. Picnic areas, walking paths, campground. And what a gorgeous day. The winds, this whole, this last 10 days we've been on the road. It's like almost no wind any day. Well, let's hope that he's, he's on. And the temperatures are perfect not too hot. Bike riding has been great. Oh, just glorious. And then there's this old man. He keeps following me. Everywhere I go, he follows me. <laughs> but he says if I get a kayak, he'll watch from the shore. <laughs> Autumn comes to soon. I'm not Autumn comes too soon. 